People still want to know what the best PC for gaming is going to be at all these different price points. So this one's really the console killer because it's um, at a low enough price that you have to sit there and scratch your head and be like, if I only have this much money, should I get a console or should I get a PC? And the answer is, of course, you should get a PC because the gaming library is way bigger. The community is really awesome and you can do way more with a PC than you can with a console. Guys, if you have infinite money, get a PC, get a console, get everything except the Xbox. Who cares? But you're on a budget, so let's just get this. So at the low price point, you can go with an Intel Pentium G or something like that and get pretty good, you know, a pretty good experience in most games. But I prefer to go with the AMD, even though the frequency is a little bit lower uh, because you get a quad core right here. And, and this is a strong quad core. Um, the Zen cores are nothing to sneeze at. This is not the AMD of a few years ago, but you guys already know that because AMD has uh, been selling like crazy lately and these Ryzen CPUs are really nice. So go ahead and grab the Ryzen 3 2200G. It goes up to 3.7 gigahertz and you guys can probably overclock it a little bit even with the stock cooling unit. If you wanted to spend a little extra money like 30, 40, 50 bucks and get like an air cooler, you could probably push this thing a few hundred uh, megahertz further. So that's up to you. For the motherboard, I wanted something that gives you some expandability options for the future. So I went with uh, something a little bit more than the baseline. This is the Gigabyte B450M DS3H. Now, the thing with this one is that you've got four RAM slots, so you can always expand that in the future. You've got a couple of PCI Express slots. You could always, you know, add a second graphics card or what's more likely is a capture card or something like that if you wanted to be a streamer. Beyond that, you do have M.2 on here. So, you know, I'm not going to recommend one for this build, but in the future, if you wanted to get a really fast M.2 and pop it in here, uh, you have that. Now, this is not going to be extremely good for overclocking, but everything on this list is going to do an okay job. So that's the idea here. Now, the graphics card, it's hard to find uh, an RX 570. This is a Radeon RX 570 from AMD. It's hard to find one at this price range. Now, this is the 8 gigabyte model, which is nice, and it's also overclocked. And it's uh, an MSI. It's got the armor on there with all the fancy cooling and everything. But I really like this graphics card and this price point. It's going to let you play most modern games 1080p maxed out. You can play a lot of games at 4K, even with, you know, even some of them with the filters on, but a lot of them with the filters off. So this is a very good mid-range card, especially for the price. Now for the memory, um, you know, you can go with 8 gigabytes of memory and save yourself some money. I usually prefer going with dual channel, but in recent tests that we've done in-house, I found out that gaming, uh, 8 gigabytes single channel versus 16 gigabytes dual channel, there's actually not that much difference, and we got a video on that coming really soon. But since we're going to go a little over 500 bucks, I'm going to recommend 16 gigabytes of this G Skill, uh, a, a Jesus, a Jesus, Aegis, 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 Aegis. I'm going to recommend 16 gigabytes of this Aegis memory from G Skill. And I like this because it's up to 3000 megahertz, and that can really help that CPU, and that can really actually help. Uh, gaming performance. The AMDs are actually affected a little by the speed of your memory, and that's something that's newer with this generation. You know, in the older generations, the the speed of the memory didn't affect things that much when it comes to gaming. Uh, they've got it on sale over here at Newegg as well, so wherever you like, you can grab it. Next up, for uh, your operating system, Windows, Linux, whatever you guys are going to put on here, I'm going to recommend getting an SSD, and right now the price on like 240 gigabyte SSDs is ridiculous. You can get the Crucial BX500, it's a 240 gigabyte uh, SSD, 29 bucks. Just, just, yeah, just get one. Now, if you guys want some extra storage, there's a couple different options. Over on Amazon, when you're buying your CPU, you can, you can get it bundled with a one terabyte um, Western Digital Blue Drive, and that's a pretty good deal for 46 bucks. Or, you know, you guys can get a two terabyte Hitachi right here. It's 43 bucks. This is a decent drive and give you, you know, a little bit of storage for your music and movies and your games, of course. All right, next up, you need a house for this, and there are cheaper options, but I really like what Cougar's doing with their MX330. This is a uh, mid-tower case, perfect for that micro ATX motherboard. The footprint on this is nice. The style on this, in my opinion, is, is pretty cool. A lot of the cheaper cases end up looking like, you know, it's like some something you got at a toy store on in like a bargain bin. So this has a much more sophisticated and sleek look, and it's gonna be pretty easy to build in. I like what Cougar's doing, so there you have it. Last but not least, for the power supply, uh, you guys can find this Seasonic on sale. It's a rebate. So you guys have that as an option. There's a 520 um, watt bronze Seasonic power supply. Seasonic makes really good stuff. Otherwise, uh, EVGA bronze power supplies and also the Corsair MX series, you know, 500 to 600 watts are gonna be perfect for a system like this. 
So there you have it. It's between five and six hundred dollars, depending on the prices of when you guys might buy them. Just make sure you click on the link uh, to check all the prices because they're always going up and down. But we have links to them on our website, so the link is going to be right in the top of the description. Go ahead and click on that, and let us know what you guys think of this AMD build. Uh, I don't think you can do much better for the money, but if you think you can let us know. Also, be sure to head over to epicpants.com to get yourself a mouse and a keyboard because you need that and we've got, you know, good stuff over there. We tailor, tailor made this stuff just for us. Grab a mouse pad while you're over there too. And that also helps us while we're helping you. So grab a t-shirt, go get the whole thing, man. So we'll see you guys on epicpants.com and we'll see you guys in the forum. That was late. You're late on the smoke.